today we have Trixie and Trixie along with her sister Dixie they're eight years old Dixie is not quite as sociable as Trixie is and Trixie doesn't look sociable but she's she's a lovely dog she's just not a house dog she's an outside lab mix doggy that doesn't know much about inside but they are uh, she's eight years old of course she's ready to go she needs a home she would uh, you know very much like to be probably a, a farm dog she likes to have room to roam and she's just a lovely dog that's they were both picked up when they were much younger just on the county road wandering and we've had them ever since so basically we've had them all their life and, uh, and she's of course a black dog and I, you know I say it over and over again you know folks don't want to adopt black dogs but uh, you know, I don't know why, but <laughs> but she's uh, obviously a lab mix. Looks like she's probably got a little hound in her because she's got you know kind of floppy ears and but uh, just is a her nice girl. Sister a lot like her. Her sister is just like her. Okay. I mean, they are twins. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Other than the fact that that this one almost smiles at you and wants to you know visit with you, her sister is a little more timid okay than this one does right. but, uh, but they would make they would make good uh, animals for uh, oh, uh, someone with larger property yes yes they they would very much like to be farm dogs okay. you know, they don't want to be really confined of course they are now in kennels but uh, but they, that's what they need. They need an outside and this needs somebody just to love them. This dog, I and mean, this is what she does. She likes to just be with you, so yeah, yeah. good dog, so. Now today, uh, during our 1245 newscast, uh, we've talked about the uh, uh, Arts of Life building project that you have. Right, uh, right. Tell us a little more about we that. Are, we are super, super excited about it. Um, we had, a, we have about 27 dogs that are living in a renovated dairy barn, which is super. I mean, it's concrete, it's it's covered, they stay out of the rain. Uh, we have tarps, which keeps them as warm as you can when it gets cold. But we have just about that number still on the outside. And um, what we have succeeded in doing through generous support of our community volunteers that have given money time and so forth we had a slab poured and then just recently just this past weekend we have the frame up for our new shelter uh, if the winds not blowing 100 miles an hour this weekend we'll have a roof on it so the shelter will be completed it will house 20 dogs and that uh, we think is going to put every dog on concrete under a permanent shelter which is going to do away with having to put tarps over them and that type thing and uh, so what we need now is of course we've got to have the kennels to put inside that building we'll have 20 on 10 on one side and 10 on the other side with a walkway down the middle um, so that's what we're we're beginning to raise we've got to raise money for that and as soon as we get the money raised for that all of our babies can go in in the concrete so, uh, and obviously these kennels are are of uh, such size that any size dog will be able to fit in and be yes comfortable. yes yes they will be 10 feet by six feet and then also which is our next phase every dog in the dairy barn right now has an area that they can get out and run. We will fence a larger area, subdivide the fenced area so that numerous dogs can run at a time. So all the dogs, even though they are in a kennel, with our new shelters, they'll be able to get outside and do a little more running. So they're not just, you know, confined to a kennel all the time. So we're just, I mean, we're excited, we're just really, really excited. And uh, we do have a couple of other events coming up next Tuesday. Just be really, really hungry because we're going to do the payback from Chili's. So all day next Tuesday, February the 2nd, 
if you're going to go eat out, go eat, to eat at Chili's. All day long, just tell them Hearts of Life Animal Rescue, and they'll they'll give us a portion of whatever you eat and eat a lot. And we're just hoping we have a lot of people. Uh, Pet Sense has some some flyers out for that. So if you want to go by and pick up one and hand it to the wait staff, then. But that's February the second, and then on February the thirteenth. We'll be having another adoptathon at PetSense, and we're going to have some Valentine baked goodies there also. So we got quite a few things going on for us. So. Well, obviously, uh, money for the kennels and uh, uh, always money for food. Always, always. We we always 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 have to have food because when you figure as many dogs as we're feeding a 50-pound sack of dog food lasts us about a day. And that's a lot of 50-pound bags of dog it really food. Yeah. It really is. So, uh, 